what's good everyone this is marcus the fingers back with another video in this video i'm going to talk to you all about sound iron plugins i will include a link in one of these corners to the website they always have some great deals going on and they always have plugins coming out it almost seems like uh there's a new plugin every week and full disclaimer i gotta put at the top of the here i'm not uh endorsed by sound iron but i am a beta tester um for sound iron plugins so i'm gonna share um i actually have a template that i'm working on right now uh, including the sound iron plugins that uh, all the sound iron plugins that I have I'm building a template in logic but I'm going to show you I think five of them um, that I really like using before we get into all that go to defingers.com slash free plugins defingers.com slash free plugins check out my free plugins gear guide uh, for plugins that you can use in your music productions including if you notice this right here desk bell is free from sound iron um, I believe that's still available so definitely check that one out um, I won't go over that one today but we are going to talk about five of them at some point I will go over this template um, and maybe share a little bit about each of the plugins but i have close to 100 i think um this template has 72 and of course there are some others that i don't have loaded up yet because obviously um they're not out yet um so hopefully i don't have any in here so, uh, apologies to sound iron if you see any plugins here that um aren't out yet but they're in my template but um i'm going through slowly but surely and adding those um plugins here one by one so the ones um, that i have turned on here in logic are the ones i'm going to talk about today and i'm going to tell you what i like about them let's pause the video right here because a special deal was announced after i recorded the video sound iron currently is running a great summer sale 35% off site-wide until August 28th. I will include a link to the deal that's going on. All right, let's keep talking about these Sound Iron plugins. But again, they're all great and they all actually have, uh, they can find a home in your productions, especially some of the percussion stuff, some of the strings and, and woodwind stuff. Then they have interesting ones such as um, the uh, flatulence, which is uh, made up of um, farts, right? <laughs> so very, if you're doing uh, any type of like family guy um, type things or, uh, you know, Futurama type deals, uh, I believe there was an episode of, was it Futurama where they went to a planet where the planet was made up of, of all like fart sounds and butt. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so there's flatulence. Uh, that went in a whole totally different direction than I expected to go. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the five uh, main ones that I really like using. Uh, I actually like using them all, like I said, but we're going to start with 03 uh, Sunospheres. I think it's Sunospheres, Sunospheres Current. So what you get uh, in this plugin, specifically you have two sources and then you can adjust different settings for each source and then you can adjust filters and LFOs for each source and then you have arpeggiators and things that you can also apply to those sources. What I really like doing with these plugins um, uh, is going through the presets because that tells you a lot about the sound. But when I first got this, I think this might have been one of the first ones I demoed. And again, I've been a beta tester and demo provider for I think over two years now, almost two years, three years. I don't know, I lost count. But this is how this sounds just out the box. So you hear a lot of character. I think the seabed's there. You hear some, um, actually some of the piano noise built in. Um, so I like going into the presets and then just, you see there's so many presets. I'm not gonna go through all these. I'm just gonna play a couple. I'm gonna load up a thousand miles here. These are Blake Ewing presets, another great composer. He does a lot of presets. Um, I, I think some sound design for um, a, a sound iron also. <laughs> going to pick maybe one other one here uh hourglass and you can just see uh right away you can just start building soundscapes i'm going to choose some more um because i really like this uh through time So you can start building out. So let's say you want to go to, um, I'm just going to load up the, the normal plugin out the box and um, just talk a little bit about it. So I can go here to bank and I can choose any of these uh, presets. So we'll go to, uh, it's on pianos. Um, if I go to depths one and then what I can choose is based on those presets, I can choose different settings. So let's go to um, that and I'm going to just uh, choose a fader to this side. So you just hear the left source. 
like a great pad. Again, you have some options here, attack, uh, offset, release, um, bass, treble, pitch. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the settings there. You can throw a filter there if you want, um, high pass, low pass, different notch formats, things like that. And then the same settings on the right. So let's say um, I want to have on this side, um, shallows one. And let's say I want to go with Denkal. Or um, let's go. Actually like that. So I'm gonna blend them here. So you can choose a blend there and then turn on the arpeggiator. So you can really get in there, customize the different settings, different things there that you have going on. Um, let me turn that off. Let me. Then finally, we'll do some LFO. Um, so you can just immediately right off the break um, just start building cues off that. I also have Sun Spheres 4, um, which is similar to this, uh, similar design. Um, I'm not going to talk about that today. Next, we're going to go to, uh, I'm going to end with Olympus Choir. We're going to go to Hyperion stuff. So um, I like the Hyperion series. You have Hyperion Brass, Hyperion Strings. Um, then you also have uh, the like full versions. Then you have Elements version, which is actually a much cheaper version, but still high quality. So I'm going to talk about Hyperion Brass Elements. I use this a lot in my trailer music stuff. And what I like to do is get in here and I like to, um, learn MIDI CC automation so I can have my volume pedal. I have a use of uh, Yamaha volume pedal and I like to do something like this where I can adjust the, the way that the, uh, the sort of the brass opens up. I usually leave it on this setting, the sustain, um, the horns master preset um, in there. Uh, then you can go in and adjust different articulations. So let's say this is staccato. You have effects in here. You can uh, go between sort of EQ filters. Then you can also load up some presets there. So let's say synths. Um, then you have different reverbs in there built in. Again, I love when plugins have this stuff built in because I don't have to go to a third party plugin and load up uh, reverb and stuff. For example, ghost vocals. I can adjust the wet here. This actually layers vocals with that. I've never used this uh, reverb. Yeah, I like that. Then you have play assist, so you can have different chords, uh, scales layered in. So if you say, hey, my song is going to be in um, uh, some, uh, let's say, F minor, it'll keep every note that you play in that. So there you go. Uh, I actually don't use that function. Um, and then we have arpeggiator. So if I turn that on, Um, that one you'll probably hear better without the reverb on. And again, you can customize that going on. But usually I just go in with the uh, default sound. I'm going to go back to main here. I usually go in with sustains um, here. And you can ch uh, change what is on these different presets and you can use key switches. You see the note there, uh, D sharp, uh, E, whatever, to adjust those different settings. And then this little uh, graph here will tell you how the sound's gonna play. So you can really get in there. But again, I probably I typically default to sustain um, and then trigger my uh, plugin or my uh, automation for the swell. Let me load this up. Let me turn the arpeggiator off. So I usually do something like this. Um, but so many, so many, so many options in there. Then something similar, but with the strings. So instead of horns, we're dealing with strings now. Uh, this is the strings ensemble. So let me do the same thing. Again, you have very similar stuff. You have the nice graph of strings here. You have uh, different articulations here. Um, and then um, again, similar ensemble settings uh, just for strings instead of horns. Then you have effects, space, play assist, arpeggio. So the good thing about these sound iron plugins is similar sort of family of instruments like the Hyperion brass and strings um, are designed in similar manner. So uh, let's check this out. 
Um, and that's really what I like about these strings is that they, they also cut through, especially in a dense mix. Uh, for example, the trailer stuff that I'm doing, it really cuts through there. I'd probably use a uh, staccato. I do use some of these different articulations. Let's load up staccato. I'm actually working on a neoclassical trailer album uh, right now um, and uh, I actually want to use this sound of the short stuff so I can create like It looks like you have a uh, round robin here, maybe four uh, layers. Um, again, I don't know all the details. I just get in there and find what I like to use. We'll play Coleno. If you don't know what that means for strings, but that means they turn the bow upside down and hit the strings with the bow and it sounds like this. And I really like using that uh, in horror stuff. So I usually do something like, uh, like uh, arpeggiator. But then you can also layer things like also great for clock so um similar to that you have bartok pizzicato um i'm not going to talk about all these articulations i know i'm i'm actually diving in on this plugin um it's a little bit way sharper um but it's more like pizzicato uh with the bow and sometimes i layer that with coleno so think of coleno more like a, a sort of like a subdued version of um what's happening there um i, I just changed that but bartok Uh, pizzicato and you have all this just built into the plugin again you can uh go into this ensemble settings change what's playing where you have basses cellos violas violins um so what's playing in those ranges and you have the colors here to coordinate um if you have a native uh, instrument keyboard you will see those colors indicated on the led lights on your keyboard i don't have a native instruments keyboard yet it is on the wish list uh, let's go some reverb we'll play let's do golden storm i like that so it's sort of almost like a swarm um so again you have some very uh character reverbs built in uh play assist again in arpeggiator um so yeah hyperion strings and then next we're going to talk about uh hyperion strings solo so that was hyperion strings elements hyperion strings solo this is more for just having a solo violin uh, maybe at some point they'll also bring a solo cello and bass and things like that um but we have solo violin and uh, i haven't been showing you the uh the actual sounds that are included let's go to hyperion um brass again if i go to instruments um you have all those in the brass you have all these different presets i typically default to the horns master but again you can layer in just the trumpets or just the tubas or just the um the bass trombones or whatever uh same with hyperion strings i can go in here and if i just want violins violas cellos bass uh, i usually default to the ensembles master and then right here we're on the solos violin right now um where you have first violin uh master phrase legato and same with second violin so i'm going to play the master here first violin very sort of airy there um let's go to sustain vibrato let me get my automation You can see they're very um, expressive. Bleach for Sando. That is first violin master. Let's load up some phrases. Let's see what happens here. I actually usually don't use a phrase. I usually just default to master. So we'll see what loads up here. So that's just me holding down the one note. You have the sequencer here. You see that's different. Um, effects and space are similar. You can put the violin and things there. Um, you could adjust the effects going on, but you see the waveform. And if I wanted to adjust the start end, maybe I can adjust some other things here um, with the waveform itself, the pitch. So you can really get in there and just add some of that uh, true violin like phrases and, and things in there. Again, uh, some great stuff. And then we'll play True Legato. Uh, yes.
let me get my automation here I like the area that's there, but you can adjust the bodies. You can hear the sound changing there. You can adjust the attack. And of course, different articulations. So let's play just a little quick idea. We'll go to Music Hall. really get an expressive piece there then of course similar options with second violin i won't play through those last but not least in this video talking about my top five sound iron plugins again i use a lot of them but these are the ones i would say i use the most um we have olympus choir elements i'm going to show you uh, this is a native access library and i'm going to show you what it looks like when i can find it right here olympus choir elements and in there you have ambiences you have choral effects marcados phrase masters staccato sustains true legato vowel masters you can really get in there uh, and build your stuff i like to use the phrase master ensemble um especially in the in the um trailer music stuff i'm gonna play a couple of let's go with choral effects effects here i'm just going to play some of the other ones i don't really use them you have falls trills actually that would be great for scary stuff i never knew used those so i didn't even know those those were there uh endosphere uh, these are ambiences that load up oh no there we go yeah crazy then we have seizure whale so you actually take the choir into a pad then we have marcados <laughs> that i'm going to come back to phrase master um then we have staccatos uh which are actually the short really short um uh, so you can see how you can really use that and you can get in the plugin you can really build out the sounds i like to just get in find a decent preset and um add that uh, i'll play some sustains we'll do the ensemble i'll play the ensemble uh. And what I like to do for the automation here is sometimes I take the master volume, which is basically your contact volume thing, and I like to automate that just to get a little bit of um, variation. Um, so that's actually how I like to use uh, the volume on this plugin. Um, and then, of course, you can automate any of these other settings. sustains uh next will be true legato i'm gonna play the ensemble uh and again you can play um uh yes um you can play different elements you have the women women to vc men men to vc and the vc means basically you're taking the um that element so let's say men to vc and you're actually splitting up the men's choir so you may have sort of like uh the the higher men section and the lower frequency men section um so you're taking that and you have that in strings and violins also where you might split um you know violin to vc and, and viola to vc or whatever so um you're basically taking that section and splitting them up into even smaller sections legato um yeah uh, and then I'll play some Val Master. We'll go to Ensemble. Uh, 
and then you can use key switches at the bottom here to change the different vowels. <laughs> So what you have is you have key switches at the bottom, I believe, for the men. You see those changing right here, and then at the top for the women. So uh, you can trigger those, or you can play your notes, and then go back in and trigger your sort of vowel presets. Uh, what I like is the actual Phrase Master. This is probably my favorite of this plugin, and I use this probably the most more than the others um, because of the choir element. And I like the Phrase Master Ensemble, and it's basically almost similar to the vowel, uh, but you can build phrases out of those vowels and syllables and things. And what, why I like it because it goes between the different vowels and you can choose which, what plays where. Um, usually I just use a default and have that layered under like a strings um, at the end of like a trailer piece or whatever. Um, and I can do the automation here so I can do something like this. And you can just start building out sort of like an operatic type thing. I really like doing that. I usually play them short. I usually play them short, um, but you can hold them out so I can do something like this. Um, so some notes hold out, some notes don't. Um, so depending on how long you play it, but I like to have that variation and I like to also not know. So I can be playing something and just come across something really great. So of course I can go all day on just this plugin alone. Again, this is probably, I would say this would be my top favorite plugin, um, Olympus Choir Elements. I believe there uh, is also a full version, um, fuller than this, more, more fuller than this. Uh, at some point, like I said, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, they keep coming out with great plugins, uh, like literally almost every week. Uh, again, I have 74 of them, been, been testing them out for the last, uh, I think two, three years um, and more on the way. Uh, again, I probably, I have probably about 10 more that are not included in this plugin um, that have already come out i just haven't added them uh, yet in my template here that are not included so there's probably close to 80 90 that i don't have they probably have total they probably have hundreds um out so definitely check out the sound iron website i will include a link in the description in probably one of these corners but definitely definitely check out sound iron for some incredible plugins um some great deals probably on the way uh again check that out and also go to defingers.com slash free plugins defingers.com slash free plugins check out some free plugins free plugins gear guide ex including the de desk bell i believe there's another plugin that they, they let out for free one or two other plugins um one they released for free as part of a contest so that might still be free um then i think another one was like a scary violin i think that was free so don't quote me on that but definitely check it out check out my plugins gear guide and find out what sound iron plugins might still be out there that's free shout out to the whole team over at sound iron i actually met uh craig um bumped into him at uh nam this year uh nam in california so really great to start meeting um a lot of people that uh work with these companies a lot of people behind these companies that are helping to design these plugins and creating demos and coming up with these ideas so um sound iron uh has actually been uh uh good to me so shout out to the whole team over there and uh I'm rambling on right now. These are just five of my favorite ones. I have 70 others here in this template <laughs> or 69 others in this template. And then I have a whole bunch of others. Um, so at some point I'm going to get to those. Definitely check out these. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, be safe and be well, everyone. All right. All right. Peace.